These are seven creepy ghost stories you won't believe really happened. They went to sleep, but the kitchen didn't. One night I was staying with some of my friends, and we all fell asleep pretty late. Around 3 a.m. I woke up and heard something that quickly, unmistakably, like kitchen cabinets, opening and shutting. Sorry. It was loud enough that I could, that I felt like I had to see what was going on. I didn't see anyone in the kitchen, so I assumed I was hearing things. Well, the next morning, when I woke up, one of my friends was really upset and crying. She said that she woke up in the middle of the night and heard people talking in the kitchen saying we are n we're n we are not wanted here anymore we aren't important it was really scary credit goes to marissa when i was 18 i was watching scary movies i just had an urge to see or experience something scary it was during the summer that I started researching haunted sites I could visit. Then one caught my attention. Sweet Hollow Road in Long Island. There was a bunch of popular urban legends linked to the site. All of them had to do with cre a creepy underpass bridge. A few of the stories speak about... I'm not gonna say it, that. One day, I told my cousin and brother, who were also ghost story, story fanatics, that we should visit Sweet Hollows. Sorry. I told my cousin and brother, who were also go. Uh, one day, I told my cousin and brother, that we should visit Sweet Hollows. My cousin had just gone his license, and my mom insisted on tagging along. When we finally got to the underpass, we found nothing. We didn't see anything out of the ordinary. The only scary thing we experienced was the sight of that. Due to the thin zigzag-like road, we almost crashed into a tree. We thought the trip was a waste. But then something strange happened. The next morning, my mom swore that during the night she felt like someone or something was watching her from under the bed. On the other hand, the resting of us, the rest of us, had dreamt of a small boy with black hair who was pale, and none of us could remember his face until the day we still believe that whoever we saw could have been many one of the many children who passed at that bridge. Credit goes to Blue. How did the chandelier mysteriously break? One night, my brother, da dad, and I was. One night, my brother, dad, and I were sleeping, and we heard a giant crash in my kitchen. We all woke up and ran into the kitchen to see what had happened. The chandelier had ripped out of the ceiling as if it had yanked it off. It didn't look like it it fell because the chain was completely out of the ceiling. It was super crazy. Didn't thinking about it now. Maybe it was just Saya swinging on my chandelier. Credit goes to Danelia. Daniela. This house had a visitor who wouldn't leave. When I was seven, we heard a had a ghost in our house. 
I remember one night when we were talking in the living room, and suddenly a glass of water went flying across the counter. Another time, the cabinet started opening and closing. It was so bad that my parents got a priest to come to the house and do what would most likely be called an exorcism of some sort. We found out later that an old woman used to live in this house. We ended up moving, on, but I still have nightmares. Credit goes to Alyssa. They thought Bloody Mary was just a legend. My friends were sleeping. Sorry. My friends were sleeping over and just as a, as a joke, someone said, Bloody Mary, in front of the mirror in my basement. Nothing happened, so we all went to sleep. Then at about 2 a.m., I woke up and it sounded like someone was pacing on the other side of the wall in the unfinished part of the basement. I looked around and realized the sound had woken up several of my friends. So I asked if anyone would, wanted to check it out. Everyone was too afraid, so we went, tried to ignore it until slowly we fell back asleep. In the light of day, everything seemed, everything seemed fine again. And we didn't think of anything of it. Until several days later, I was scrolling through old pictures of my camera roll. When I saw it, I, a picture I definitely did not take. It was my friend who did Bloody Mary. And the, and the photo was of her staring into the mirror she did in it. The picture was really in really dark filter. I was immediately talked to all of my, my friends who were over that night and everyone swore they didn't take it. So who did? Credit goes to Kayla. No one was in the bedroom but the motion detector went off. I have motion detectors in my house and one day I was walking to my dad's girlfriend's house and my burglar alarm went off. The police came to my house and found to find out that my dad's motion detector went off in his home, in his room, when no one was there. My dad thought it was a defect. So we had the alarm system replaced. A few days later, the motion detector went off in his room again. So he replaced it once more. When I ha when it happened again, we gave up and thought it was probably my mom who passed away when I was younger, haunting us because every th everyone hated my dad's new GEF. It was probably a sign. Credit goes to Daniela. She went out looking for a ghost story, and she found one. I was at Barnes and Noble about I was at Barnes and Noble about three years ago. It was a, it was October, so they had a tale table with ghost books on display. The curious I was curious, so I walked over and started looking at a book. The book had a picture of a real ghost captured. I was fascinated by it. At the same time, I was looking at the book. My ring started to heat up and then shattered, falling onto the table. I was freaked out. I touched the broken pieces and they were cold as ice. Credit goes to Rory. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you got a little spooked out. And as always, Cool Kid 99, signing out. Peace!